So, so it is the case that the, the greater the narcissist, the greater the power that they have, because there is actually functionally something in their capability that is more than usual, atypical. So they may have incredible charisma and charm. Uh, they may have enormous intellect. They may have some power, prowess, or skill. So that can't be denied. There's something exceptional. But then it's used in the service of manipulation. And that actually underneath the mechanism of all the power is a inability to be vulnerable. Actually, what a narcissistic personality is, is the contrived construction of a personality that is situated in maximal defense against vulnerability. And this is why there's an exaggerated attempt not to take in any bit of reality that would contradict some grandiose self-reflection. If you try to alert someone with this personality structure of their limitation or give them some bit of feedback uh, that contradicts their delusional view of their perfection, then oftentimes what you're met with is rage, what's called narcissistic rage. And they have been so cunning as to make sure that there are strings attached to nearly everything. In the guise of good graces and charm, they find their way in to your vulnerability. Uh, so this is a superpower, but it is a villainous superpower. It's an ill-advised, unvirtuous superpower. They'll find your Achilles heel. They will attempt to make you dependent. They will lure you into a sense of safety, and then they can be predatorial. Now, if this happens in childhood, it can really can be one of the most confusing predicaments because of the course the child is naturally dependent and the development of the ego requires necessitates a period of idealization so the evolution of consciousness requires idealization is put in a, a situation where dependent de dependency is necessary and then lo and behold the parental figure has this diabolical personality structure in which the parental responsibility is inverse so that the child is rendered part of a what's called a narcissistic supply the child is there to supply the parental figure its narcissistic supply at a cost at a either subtle or not so subtle threat